الحمد لله ثم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه معين ثم أما بعد uh, this quote is one of I learned this quote or came across this quote when I was quite young um, still going to you know the church and so on and so forth and one of the things that they taught us that was a pillar in our um, direction towards God was the quote you must suffer before you live so this was the the template or the foundation of our understanding of how we carry ourselves ourselves in this world we must suffer before you live now does that mean that we go our way to put ourselves in situations that cause us to uh, cause harm to ourselves no what this quote means and the significance of this quote is that things never come easy things never come easy we enter the fold of Islam Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen We are over the moon Allahu Akbar We are receiving the love of Allah Azza wa Jal And we are trying our best to reciprocate this love to the best of our ability Through our Salah and our Siyam and so on and so forth But does that mean that we enter the fold of Islam or we start practicing, practicing once more We start to wear the hijab, we start to you know, dress according to the Sharia and so on and so forth and various different things we're going to the different majalis at uh, different places of, of, of study and we're seeking knowledge and so on and so forth does that mean that everything becomes easy for us? no there is still work that needs to be done there's still trials and tribulations that one needs to go through like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us in a beautiful hadith that the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are tested the hardest then their companions and their companions right until it reaches us so when Allah Azza wa loves you, He gives you understanding of the religion, but also He tests you to make sh to help you reach a higher rank. Don't see this test as a form of punishment, but rather see this test as a form of uplifting you, strengthening you for something that may come your way later on in life. And uh, this is what helped me in my my journey uh, prior to entering the fold of Islam. Certain t certain events start to happen that caused me to be distant from people and led me to be majority of the time by myself and this allowed me to develop an understanding of who I am to a degree where I was able to be comfortable of in my own skin comfortable that when people say certain things about me I know no 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 that's not me bro that is not me subhanallah and by you being comfortable because you are your own uh, fan subhanallah to a degree and this allows you to filter out advice from the insults and do things for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not for something else or someone else to seek out glory and you know respect from people rather than seeking the love from Allah azza wa jal and when we have distinguished these two things and then trials and tribulations come we say sami'na wa ta'na we hear and we obey and whatever comes from from Allah Azza wa Jal I may not understand the reason behind it but I know it's out of love and mercy from Allah Azza wa Jal and I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala to give our, ourselves the ability to see through the test and not fail and just to add to this as well some of the, the, the scholars may mention a form of dua supplication that Alhamdulillah Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala gave us trials in the dunya and not trials within our deen because the trials in the dunya the lowest part of uh, of you know the creation in terms of the hierarchy in terms of the the the, 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 the heavens and so on and so forth were in the lowest part this this world will perish this world will come to an end but as we are going through our our process the one that things will come and go things will come and go but having your religion anchored in the heart the love for Allah Azza and his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam these are things you wouldn't want to be tested on because once the Islam goes only Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala knows when it will come back so Alhamdulillah we may lose our job Alhamdulillah we may lose our loved ones SubhanAllah may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala grant them Jannah for those we may lose the things that we have likeness to or love for but one thing that will always remain and will be asked about is our religion. Who is Allah Azza wa Jal? 
who is your who is the one that you worship? Who is your the Prophet that, that came to deliver deliver the message and what is your religion? SubhanAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to answer these questions and when that day comes when we stand before him. Sallu Ali Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'in. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.